I'm sorry, can I help you? Ah, you want to learn how to make a brick film? Well, today I'm going to teach you just that, showing you my process from start to finish. Let's get to it. To begin with, I write the script. Try not to overthink it. You know, let your creativity flow. You can always make little changes if you're not happy with the way it sounds. As I'm writing the script, I will create a picture in my head of what each scene will look like and how it's going to play out, and then I will know what I want. Once I finish writing the script, I will then move on to building the set. Now if you're like me who has a bedroom with no desk and carpet, I highly recommend getting one of these. This is a board I use to build my set on. You also need sellotape. This helps secure the set, making sure nothing moves whilst you're filming. Once I've finished building the set and everything is secured with tape, I will then start filming. For this, you will need a pair of studio lights. This helps block out any natural sunlight. You also need something to support the device that you're going to use to film. I use my phone, so I built my own custom Lego stand. However, if you're using a DSLR camera, I suggest a tripod. In this video, titled The Guy Who Paints With Blood, I filmed from two angles. One, where the camera focused on Mike, and the second on John.
And that's all there is to it. That's how I make a brick film. I hope this was helpful for those who are interested in stop motion animation and want to pursue that career, but also giving you guys an insight into how I do it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Or night, depending on where you are in the world. Okay, goodbye.